Well, this isn't every day we get to stand around and drink beer for our job, but not exactly. only is PGA golf for Graham Dillette in town, but he's here not necessarily to talk about golf, but to talk about this. Tell yeah, us a little cheers. bit about Cheers. Yeah, uh, my new beer, we're just launching. Uh, we kind of did an official launch in Saskatoon yesterday, and we're doing one here in uh, Calgary today. It's pretty exciting. Kind of a new business venture for me. So, uh, yeah, I hope everyone kind of likes it. Obviously, uh, just to kind of give it a quick little yeah, rundown, absolutely. Prairie Bard. Um, the Bard is Beard in Dutch, which is yeah. my uh, last name. is a Dutch name, Delet. So, mm -hmm. that's kind of how we came across that, and kind of making a little play on the beard. But, um, it's been a lot of fun, and so far the response has been great. We got a nice full room here today, yeah. so we're excited about it. Does this mean the beard is here to stay? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I guess <laughs> we'll have to see. I'm kind of pot committed now, so uh, yeah, we'll see. Now, I understand how drinking beer and golf goes hand in hand. For you, exactly. it probably doesn't go quite as hand in hand because you're actually quite good and yeah. do well, well for 30 yourself. 30 weeks of the year. The other 20 weeks, I can do this and, and play golf at the same time. Where did the idea come from? Did you always want to create a, a, a beer, get into this field, or did it? someone just approach you and say, hey, no, I got an idea? Yeah, it was kind of my idea. I mean, uh, you know, I'm a beer drinker. I'm a prairie boy. And I mean, just kind of, you know, I'm not going to do a wine because he's going to buy a wine from a kid from Waverly, Saskatchewan. So I just, I, just I don't know. Of, I drink a lot of wine. I might buy it from you. Okay. Well, I appreciate that. But, <laughs> um, but yeah, I just kind of thought it was obviously a little bit of a business venture for me. And then at the same time, something to kind of have some fun with and partner with some great people. And kind of here we are. It's been, uh, you know, almost a year in the making, but it's nice that we're finally uh, on the shelves and launching this thing. Absolutely. So not only is the marketing and the beard and everything kind of what you had a hand in, but also actually creating the beer itself, tasting it and giving yeah. your notes back. How did that work? Yeah, it was fun. I mean, we kind of, we did some sampling. It was probably, I think, our fifth or sixth batch where we finally kind of settled on, uh, you know, the color that we wanted yeah. and uh, the taste and the hoppiness and, uh, you know, the bitterness and whatever. There's a lot to go into it. I learned a lot about the brewing process. Uh, as we went along but it's uh, it's it's fun to you know hold a beer with uh, basically with your name on it something that you know it's kind of your own sweat and blood so it's absolutely it's exciting. awesome okay not to dwell on the other part but you, you are a golfer mm -hmm. you are gonna be um, doing some more tournaments you're also gonna be heading to maybe Rio can you tell us a little bit about uh, your plans for the future just quickly yeah I'm uh, headed to Columbus next week for the Memorial Tournament and then to Memphis and I got some US Open qualifying in between and yeah obviously hope hope to be on that Canadian Olympic team that was one of my main goals starting the year but really actually since they announced that um, the golf would be back in the Olympics and we're the defending champions Canada and so uh, that that's, that's a main goal of mine I'm not a shoe in by any means so I have to keep playing some decent golf right. but uh, I hope to be on that team awesome Graham thanks so much for this and uh, cheers, cheers Let's have yeah. a drink okay Take to care. Saskatchewan to Sask yeah. to Sask all right <laughs> cheers we'll be back with Margot right after the break